Ugh. Okay, so we have to release a little bit earlier. As you can see, there's a lot of little smoke clouds there. Little smoke trails from the bombs. Look at that. It's crazy. It's like a forest of fire. Alright, let's try this again. It's a good one. And just before you think it should be a good time to release, release it. And you get close. Very close. Okay, let's land and get some more bombs. I'll show you the perfect landing technique. get out really quick like this while moving. Oh no! Perfect technique for getting something in the air. <laughs> Can't do nothing. It's flying by itself. <laughs> How's that possible? <laughs> quick, quick launch a plane and take it out. serious business now. So I'm going to start at two kilometers. I'm going to come in. Um, I'm going to keep my nose just below the horizon line. Like this. Rotate level at 1.2 kilometers fire. That seemed like a lot nicer to me. And you'll notice that once you double click it doesn't change target right away. It takes a few seconds because as I mentioned before um, the, load, the load range for the entire um, game will change depending on what you target. So if you target something 90 kilometers away it will load every vessel within 90 kilometers. Launch. Now I'm going to zoom way out so I can actually see where this might be going. So here it comes. I can see the streak coming in. If we can get within 25 meters, it will have, it should do some damage. If we get too far out, or if it misses altogether and goes into the ground, then we're not going to have very good effect, but let's just see what can happen here. And now, now! Okay. Well, you know what? 
we got really close there. One thing we can do is we can attack our little APC target. So if we do this and we do this and then we reverse zoom all the way out, which is kind of annoying, but it's currently the only way we can actually take a peek at what's happening here. Um, if we zoom in, and because of the mountains it forces the camera up, so about as close as we're going to get is about here, seven kilometers is a decent range. I can already see it coming in here. Steering. Hit. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> if uh, you wanted to know what would happen, now my guess is the rocket came down, or the missile came down like this. And because of the perfect angle it was coming down, my, I left the vehicle facing that way. It hit these few, these, uh, these crates of ammo and blew those crates of ammo up. Uh, the, the crates of ammo were still visible there. Uh, and that doesn't mean they didn't explode. So as you can see, you have explosion effects out 200 meters from where it actually hit. Uh, so that was that was quite impressive. I liked that one. I have a couple air, aircraft, uh, a couple bombers, and a lar the large transport plane sitting out here. Um, so let's just see what we can do to them. Uh, I have no clue what the overall effect will be, so... I'll aim for the one closest to the center of the group. And we will put this down to 25 meters above sea level. Actually, this is 25 meters um, proximity. So this is a little different than above sea level, which is for the bombs. So if we just release this, up she goes. You'll see it track over. Right there. Down it comes. <laughs> that was devastating. There's nothing left. <laughs> so I've created this bomb rig, uh, which <laughs> is is buckling under the intense weight of this new bomb. However, uh, if we set this up to go, um, if I wait for it to come back a little bit, we'll just let her drop. should be able to see the parachute. There it is. See? Boom! I suppose I could envelop this area in a larger effect rather than using the smaller effects, but for now uh, they'll have to do. It's not every time that you see the effects uh, spawning in the air. They must be colliding with one another.